everyone, my name is Pia Gwani Colorocolas from Davao Doctors College and for today I'm going to perform a perennial flushing return demonstration. So the purpose of this um, is to remove normal perennial secretions and others. This is also to provide um, client comfort and to prevent infection and contamination from the rectum. So prior to the conduct of the procedure, I have prepared the necessary equipment to be used. This includes a bedpan, a kidney basin, a pitcher with warm water, a cotton balls with a dry and a cotton ball soap and cleansing solution, and then sterile gloves. I also have here a two um, pick-up forceps and a antiseptic spray. And also, I have performed hand washing. This is to deter the spread of microorganisms. Now we're going to explain to the patient um, the procedure and the purpose of this. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Okay, so I am Pia Gwani Colorocolas, your student nurse for today. May I see your wristband, ma'am? And can you please state me your full name and date of birth? Okay, so for today, I'm going to perform a cranial flushing. So basically, I'm just going to cleanse your cranial area. This is to provide comfort and for you to feel fresh and clean, okay? So is it okay for you if I close the door so that no one from the outside will be able to disturb us while we're doing the procedure, okay? Now, position the client in a dorsal recumbent position. This is to provide clients comfort and to have a, um, a good visualization while doing the um, examination. So, can you lie down here? Okay, and can you slightly flex your knees? Now, drape the patient to provide um, privacy and to um, have a less embarrassment from the patient. So, I'm going to drape you now, ma'am. You see, I'm going to expose only the area of examination. Is it okay for you? Then I'm going to place the bedpan under the genitalia of my patient. So I'm going to place the bedpan in your genital area. Next thing to do is to flush um, the perineal area using a warm water. So I'm going to get the picture with warm water. So, ma'am, um, I'm now going to start the cleaning. So, um, are you ready? Yes. So, slightly pour the water onto the genitalia of the patient. And check for any um, skin lesions, abrasions, and any problem of the cranial area. This is to ensure um, and to check if there are problems in the genital area of the patient. And after that, I'm going to place the kidney basin near the bad pan of, um, that are placed here. And also get the cotton balls with cleansing solution and the pick-up forceps. So the first pick-up forceps. So mom, I'm going to start now. So in doing this procedure, get the first cotton ball starting and Put it um, clean. Um, so I'm going to get the first cotton balls and starting from the symphysis pubis down to the anus. And discard the first cotton ball. So with the second cotton balls, um, um, we insert in a mons pubis with figure 7 by external labio. So I'm going to the... Uh, Clean first the far side down to the anus and discard. Then for the third um, cotton balls from Mons pubis 
of external labia down to the anus is scarred. Next, I'm going to clean the labia majora um, by figure seven of um, external genitalia, then down to the anus, discard the other cotton balls, down to the anus, discard. Now I'm going to clean the groin area going up to the thigh. So first, here, then up to the thigh, discard, and to the other side, in the groin area, up to the thigh, and discard. Okay, so we're now done putting a cleansing solution. Ama. Next, we're going to um, flush the clean air um the now clean area of the perineal using a warm water so ma'am i'm going to um, pour now the warm water in your um, perineal area so are you comfortable okay next next thing i'm going to do is to dry the perineal area of my patient so um the same as what I did um, earlier so we have to remember to never do a stroke because um, it will contaminate the clean area so by getting by putting the kidney basin here and then using the dry cotton ball using a new um, set of pick up forceps so from symphysis pubis down to the anus discard to the other side this part. And for, um, to the groin area, to the groin area, up to the thigh, this part. Groin area up to the thigh. Okay. After that, we're going to get the bed pan. Okay, so I'm going to get the bed pan now, ma'am. And slightly turn the side of the patient to clean the buttocks using a, another set of cotton balls. So, can you please um, side now? Okay, so I'm going to use a cotton balls with a um, soap in a cleansing solution and a dry cotton balls. Dry the um, buttocks. Okay. So now that we're done, we're going to position our client in a comfortable position. So um, it's um, already done now. So you can now. And also, well, we have to remember to spray the antiseptic spray. This is to ensure the um, uh, proper cleansing of the perineal area of the patient. And also, to put a perineal pad. Um, okay. okay. So, I'm going to put the perineal pad now, ma'am. So, Imam, so you can now have a normal position, it's a fine position. So, um, are you feel comfortable and refreshed? Okay, thank you so much for your cooperation and I hope to see you again, okay? So, 
Next thing to remember is to do the aftercare of the materials being used. This ensures a clean and a good procedure of the perennial flushing demonstration. And also, we have to record the treatment being done with the patient at the discharge observed. So now I'm going to um, do the aftercare map. So, and I will also go now. Thank you so much for your cooperation.